Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video, we will see how to configure network security group Prolox using Azure Network Watcher. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I'm logged on to the portal and just to uh, be clear that you can configure the NSG flow logs using an ARM template also, wherein you will create the uh, adjacent template mentioning the network watcher name, flow log name, the name of the NSG, the retention days values, flow log version, and the storage account type variables, and all the other things. So just to be make it very simple we will enable it through the portal so we'll go to the network watcher and you see under logs you have nsg flow logs click on it and this is the name of your nsg that is only present in this region for one vm that we have you click on that nsg and flow log data is set to off by default. You click on on to on it. And the flow log version, the version of flow logs to generate version one logs ingress and egress IP traffic flows for both allowed and denied traffic. Version two provides additional throughput information, bytes and packets per flow. So version two would be your more detailed version of the flow logs that you are enabling. If you want to do it to version 2 you can set it to version 2 just to this lab we'll go with version 1 and it says the storage account you have to configure the storage account under which your uh, storage these logs would be stored so you can select an existing storage account you should have a storage account to use it for your uh, nst flow logs so I have this one created by default in my East US region. I will do OK. And the retention days. For how many days I want to retain the logs. And it says that if you want to retain data uh, forever and do not want to apply any retention policy, set retention days to zero. OK. So let's say uh, you want these logs to be available for next seven days you can add seven here and it says traffic analytics status the traffic analytics provides a rich analytics and visualization derived from nst flow logs and other azure resource data drill through geomap easily figure out traffic hotspots and get insights into optimization possibilities and if you want to read more about log analytics uh, sorry traffic analytics you can Check the Microsoft documentation for complete details. So let me change it to 0, 01. This for this lab. Let's enable the uh, traffic analytics status to 1. And it says uh, traffic analysis processing interval. So after how many duration? You let's say we want it for every 10 minutes. And now to have the traffic analytics stored for us we have to enable a log analytics workspace if you have watched uh, my previous videos i have mentioned the steps to create a log analytics workspace as well so if you don't if you don't have it you have to so this is the default workspace in east us location select it and then you click on save so it is updating the flow log settings It will take some time. It would, you know, deploy, uh, verify the template, then uh, deploy the template, then it would validate the deployment. So this is done. And now you can do what is you can go here. You click on refresh. Status is enabled. Traffic analytics status is also enabled. Right now, if you want to see what kind of logs it generates you would go to the storage account because we stored the logs in that storage account go with the container because 
because we have not done anything. I mean, the traffic has not gone to. Um, hmm, let's go to this network watcher again. Let's go to NSC fuel logs. Click on it. It would be here. If you want to generate some traffic, you know, log on to the VM, visit any sites, and uh, so that you can generate some kind of traffic. But the easiest way to validate if the deployment is done correctly or not would be to see the status here is enabled for the traffic analytics status is also enabled. Right? And if you want to disable all of this go into this option again set it to off and you click on here save okay so it says if traffic would okay so it's my mistake you have to first of all turn off the traffic analytic status and then you would come up and you set it to off then you click on save now it is disabled. You go to Network Watcher again, you refresh this page, and you see everything is disabled again. Alright, so I hope this was informative for all of you guys. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.